Had a nice day today, even though it was warm and humid. Yeah, it didn't feel horrible, but we are actually going to get even drier air here in the coastal bend. So not quite fall feeling today for the fall equinox, but we do have some more fall like weather on the way in terms of our low temperatures and humidity. At least it's still going to be hot later this coming week. 91 is where we sit at right now. We do have a couple of showers earlier on our radar, but right now we are drying out and clearing up as the sea breeze makes its way in and we're running out of that daytime heating. Now heading into tonight, I do foresee our temperatures going into the middle 70s, so maybe a little bit cooler than we were last night and yes, this morning I should say, but we will also see partly to mostly cloudy skies, a stray coastal shower and a little bit of inland fog, otherwise a pretty quiet night. Now heading into tomorrow afternoon, I think the sea breeze is going to be a little bit more active, so I've got a widely scattered chance for some showers and a stray thunderstorm storm 93 for our high temperature tomorrow. Heading into Tuesday then, I think our rain chances go up even higher. So temperatures a degree or two warmer in the morning, but you can see a higher rain chance in the afternoon. Tuesday here at three o'clock, you can see those rain showers taking our temperatures down yet again by a couple degrees. Now our rain chances on Wednesday do look pretty similar to that of Tuesday and then a cold front. Yes, cold front coming through Wednesday evening and into Thursday that dries us out. Let me explain how that plays into the tropics now because you wouldn't think they are connected, but they are. So we've got a couple areas of interest in the Atlantic. We're not concerned about those. We're continuing to watch this one newly designated invest 97 L. It's finally got an invest, so that means spaghetti models can be run on it. They're not quite in to our computer system yet, but I did draw some out for you where it looks like they're going 80% chance of development for this area of interest over the next seven days and new today, a 40% chance over the next Next two days. So that being said, where is this coming from? There's not necessarily a disturbance there just yet, but it is expected to come off of what's called the Central American gyre. Basically this area of disturbed weather that circulates over Central America. You can see this piece of energy right here. The main players in this are going to be high pressure and this cold front and dip in the jet stream, this low pressure, if you will. So that's what's bringing us those rain chances as that cold front sinks into the coastal bend. Here you can see that big piece of energy making its way into the Gulf of Mexico by the middle part of this week. So again, those are the key players right here. We are expecting this. You can see to move a little bit more towards the eastern Gulf of Mexico. This area of interest has kind of been shaved off over to the east since yesterday evening. It had been a little bit wider. So here's what those spaghetti plots are looking like. They also were a little bit further to the west yesterday. Now they're consolidating right down the middle of this hatched area. Most of those going off to the Florida Peninsula. So we'll keep an eye on this, but for right now, not looking like something for us to worry about. You see this big low pressure right here gets cut off from that jet stream flow with this uh, cold front here. And as that sinks to the south and cuts itself off as the other area of low pressure, that tropical system goes over here. You can see how it's going to pull all of that drier air here into the coastal bend. So with that, we could be seeing some 60 degree mornings, not 60, but in the 60s, and that would be our first time since May 18th. So definitely something to look forward to later this week. The other concern that we would have with the system passing through the Gulf is a higher rip current risk, mainly due to these longer wave periods, especially Thursday, Friday and Saturday. But the wave heights do decrease pretty quickly. Now heading into tomorrow, just business as usual, an active sea breeze with those widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. The rain chances go up a little bit heading into Tuesday and Wednesday with feels like temperatures around the 100 degree mark here for the next couple of days. But once we get to Thursday and the later half of this coming week, we have less humidity, slightly cooler temperatures and a lot more sunshine. Are you eyeing your winter wardrobe? Absolutely not. No, 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 Brian, there's <laughs> 90s on this 60s? forecast. No, oh, yeah, but I can't wait to wear a sweater. Oh, me too. Me yeah. too. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen.